Wednesday the 29th and about 10 o'clock in the morning had a pretty good night the smooth seas and the boat moved pretty much around five knots the whole way uh, now after like four attempts I got the spinnaker up because the wind seems to be dropping and veering to the south as predicted but not quite this early I don't know the bottles are valuable you take them with a grain of salt It's actually flying pretty nice. It's like 12 knots of wind. Very nice. And I got uh, a reefed main. One reef. Just so it doesn't put too much of a wind shadow on the spinnaker. Hi, anybody out here is going to see me from miles away. About 350 miles south, 340 miles south of Bermuda. May 30th, Thursday. Last night was a little bit of a struggle uh, with no spinnaker and no wind. Since 4 o'clock I've been motoring until about 10.30 when the wind reappeared. Uh, since the wind indicator Apparently now is working, but before it wasn't. <laughs> the life on a sailboat. Um, I'm now on a beam reach headed north right for Bermuda. Uh, I was peeking out at 6.1 knots. So it's a beautiful day. The rain hasn't started yet. It's supposed to come probably tomorrow morning. And along with the wind shifts, but all the models seem to be in disagreement. So that's kind of uh, something to watch. I'm not really concerned. The boat, it's all the all the forecasts say the wind is not going to be that crazy. 30 knots at most, which this boat can handle. If I can keep this course and this speed, which is highly unlikely, I will be in Bermuda on um, Saturday morning, June 1st, my birthday, and uh, in the morning probably around eight or nine o'clock anyway everything uh, is right in the world today I hate motoring I'm very thankful the motor starts and works but um, sailing in light wind is a lot of work you're changing sails you're it it's just a lot more work when there's a nice steady breeze obviously at 15 uh, it's got to be blown at least 15 right now maybe 16 so Got the full Genoa out, full main, uh, and I'm on a beam reach. Couldn't be better than this. This little warbler came on board. He's a long way from home, a long way from land. Probably got blown off by that low, maybe. But isn't that cool? Every so often when I'm offshore, no matter how far, a little bird will show up. This is so awesome. I know the water doesn't taste great. May 31st, about 0730. And after a rolling night with uh, continued following seas, you can hear the sails flogging around. Uh, we got to the point where we should start seeing the wind shift from this annoying south southerlies to suddenly going to the north-northwest 
maybe even north, which would be welcome right now because at least I can set things up easier with the sails and the autopilot and uh, have a straight shot. This is Iridium Go and uh, that little boat at the bottom is me current position. You can see the winds coming out of the south southwest and then if I activate the gribs sometime around this afternoon you see the wind shifts to the northwest. So I might some of the the routing software is saying both all the routing software is saying I'm gonna have some tacking to do. Which again it's not that big a deal. The winds don't look that outrageous. And um, they even lighten up a little bit as you see. Um, but the nice thing is I'll be on a close close reach um, or even a broad reach which is easy to, to met. My trusty pressure cooker with my next three meals already prepared. Engine is on as you can maybe hear. So as you can see the seas have built up. They're on my stern so I should be thankful but it makes for it to being a little rolly and there's squalls out there but I'm not seeing them on my bow quite yet nothing really too crazy that's that's roughly uh, north I'm looking right now It's May 31st, Friday, uh, <clears throat> 6.30. So we went through that wind change about 1 o'clock, big squall, and the wind died. But we're doing, we got like 15 knots of wind right now. And the boat's moving along on a beam reach, so I'm not complaining. Because uh, the past couple of days have been nothing but light wind. And it's just a lot of work to keep a boat moving. You know, using the engines, changing sails, sail trim, etc. Reefing, taking the reef out, reefing. Um, it's a lot of work. So I'm a little bushed. June 1st, Saturday. Right now it's blowing 30 to 35. I wish I had a third reef in the main, but and it can happen. The good news is the boat is moving over four knots in a decent direction. Let me get an idea what's going on out there. Uh, noon on June 1st. Um, Still getting like 30 knot winds. I tacked about 10 o'clock earlier. Uh, the boat seems to be handling it well. Some big waves out here. It's interesting there's not many white caps and the wind is blowing 30. Whoa. The wind is blowing 30 knots. Boat sailing. I'm doing five knots. I'm tacking back, basically perpendicular to my rum line to get back. Then one more tack, and I should be in spitting distance of Bermuda. Quick entry. Um, it's uh, sunset on June 1st. Almost, almost uh, eight o'clock. Is that right? Jeez, it's almost eight o'clock. It's still light. See the sea state stole a lot of residual swell from that wind, but it's smooth and we're moving along on a nice tack. Maybe one more tack to get to the uh, to Bermuda. Good morning, uh, June second. 
about 6 a.m. Um, I'm now sailing north under sail and uh, about 20 miles out from St. George's. After those two, 14 hours of really crappy weather and conditions, uh, last night the wind just died. It went from 32 knots to zero. I just turned the engine on, put the main up, and uh, motor sailed in that situation at low speed. I was doing like two knots, maybe three, and uh, went to bed. I was way offshore, it was like 30 miles offshore. Uh, AIS was on, so people could see me, all the boats, lights were on. And I slept for pretty much nine hours. I got up a couple of times to check things. But for the most part, I slept nine hours, and it felt so good to wake up at five o'clock this morning and uh, just feel like a new person. It, the fatigue sneaks up on you, and I could feel it last night before I went to bed uh, that my judgment was impaired. I really had to focus on what I was doing, and my balance uh, was affected adversely. I, it's amazing. It's really interesting what fatigue and exhaustion does to you. So, lesson learned. Um, you don't have a schedule, Mark. So just freaking put it, hove to, and go to bed. Just park the boat. You know, by uh, setting up the sails so the boat basically stalls, and but pretty much maintains its position. Maybe moves a knot or two in one, or, you know, with some direction. But just hope to and get a couple hours of good sleep. Maybe make a meal too. Because theoretically, and I should have tested that yesterday. I should have, uh, while those, you know, 35 knots and 10 foot seas, 12 foot seas, I, I should have uh, see if I could put the boat into hope too. I've done it in 20 knot, 25 knot winds, but not 35. Okay, so that's it. Um, got a little squall up ahead, maybe some clouds, but it uh, looks like clear sailing all the way there. So I should hear from Bermuda Radio. They usually pick up my A pick up AIS pretty early, and um, just to make contact and uh, declare my intentions. Basically, I want to get ashore. <laughs> okay. All right, well, you can tell I'm in a better mood today. All right, I'll uh, check in later. So I'm uh, about 10 miles away, less than that, eight miles. And uh, the past uh, couple miles, I've been watching Bermuda slowly get larger. 